Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to generate a theme by using starter kit theme. So before generating a theme, let me uh, explain about what is starter kit theme, why we have feature this new feature in our Drupal theme and uh, what is drawback we already having. So let me explain all those. So what is starter kit theme? So starter kit theme will generate a new theme with all the files of your base theme. So when you create a theme by using starter kit with the reference of Bartik or Classy, we don't have Bartik in Drupal 10. So Olivero or Claro or uh, any theme, when you reference uh, those themes in your starter kit generating command, it will copy all the files from your uh, Claro or starter kit theme or Classy whatever, all will be copied and all will be generated as a new theme in your custom folder. So uh, in that case, in info file, you will be noting saying that it will not have any base theme uh, connection. So the inheritance will not be there. That theme is completely separate. So you can do any changes in your starter kit theme. So uh, why we are having starter kit theme? When it comes to Classy, you might notice that after 8.0.0, you will not, you, there won't be any uh, update happened in the Classy team because if we made any changes that might uh, break the site, since uh, we need to maintain the backward compatibility, we didn't did any <clears throat> updates to the Classy team. Uh, when you use the static kit theme, you can overcome that problem and you can create your own custom theme as you wish. Okay, so let's go to uh, command prompt and create your own static kit theme. Uh, before generating it, I already installed Drupal 10 in my instance. So this is a Drupal 10 with, uh, folder here and this is the site which I already installed. So I'm going to do PHP and core scripts drupal and generate hyphen theme and first i'm going to run help command so help it will tell you how to run the starter kit uh, theme generation command these are the option you are having let me run all those so generate theme cs theme it's a custom starter kit theme I'm giving this as a, a folder name and next iPhone iPhone name name represents the name of the theme it will be added in your info file it's custom starter kit theme and description for your info file description for your info file it's a custom theme generation by starter kit after that uh, you have to mention the path in which path the folder should be created theme slash custom uh, after that you can you also need to mention the starter kit starter kit space i'm mentioning the theme name called starter kit underscore theme so this is the theme which is already available in your core. And if you are not mentioning this option, it will use this theme only as default. Uh, let me tell you how to use other themes here. First, let's do this with starter kit theme. Now the theme is generated successfully in your uh, custom folder. And without all these options also, you can run this command. It will generate the theme. And let's go to the folder and see web. Uh, themes custom so here you can see it is created so this theme is using the core starter kit theme so let's go to the core themes starter kit theme this is the theme so it will use all the files whatever here all will be regenerated here with the different name which you which you mentioned in your command as cs theme so when you go to see the info file, you cannot see any uh, base theme here. Okay, so this is how you how to generate a starter kit theme. Now we successfully generated a starter kit theme, right? Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same. Mm, 
this is the core right go to web core themes so here you have a uh, claro oliver order right so let's go there and give here uh, instead of starter kit i'm going to give claro when you run this it is saying that uh, okay cs theme is already existing so let me change that it's claro theme okay enter so it is saying that the claro theme is not a valid starter kit why it is saying like that is that when you go and open the info file here if you want to use any theme as a starter kit uh, theme generation you have to mention one uh, value here starter kit true copy it and paste it here so I copied and pasted here for Claro. So let me rerun the same command. Now you can see the Claro theme is generated. When you go to your uh, web themes custom. So here you can see the Claro theme sub theme is generated. Once you are done with your changes, you can uh, revert, revert uh, your info file from your code once you generated the theme. So this is how you have to generate a theme by using starter kit. Okay, and that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye.